Hello, my name is John Liu, Flow Ninja, and today we have a quick flow hack about encoding hyperlinks inside a create HTML table. This was a question asked Clayton James asked me over Twitter. There is a link talking about how to encode this. I'll quickly show you the problem and then show you uh, how I will go about doing it. So go right into where I'm really happy, which is making flows. I can't easily make new flows in my flows, so now I just make new flows inside solutions. You can't really, uh, plenty of spaces for me to write more flows. Uh, create a new flow, it's gonna use a button. Yeah. Also, just before I go too much further, let me double check. I need to be using the experimental features, very good. So, Jaden's problem is simply this. If I want to say, quickly create an array, and let's have it with two elements. There's going to be URL, and there's going to be, uh, say, an address, pause to view that. And then another URL. Uh, I don't know. Uh, power clarity oops type a wrong column so it's key and value and then when we do create HTML table that one. Um, we can add the output of the array, and this is going to be test encode for create table. We can run that. In fact, let me do one more thing. We need to do one more piece. Let me take the output of this create HTML table. Let's just do one more compose. Uh, and put the output in here. That's very good. So let's run this. First time, new flow. <coughs> And run successfully. So the compose creates an array. <clears throat> we know it's an array because uh, it's color coded and then it's got it's split into a JSON structure. Uh, because they both have the same key, the create HTML will create one column for these two values. Okay, and we can see that these are basically. Uh, strings, strings of these two values. And if we have a look at the compose output of this without the pretty printing, we can see that the output is a HTML table and then the URL is inserted as a, um, as a string, as a string. Now, that's usually, that's not bad if you want to send that in the email already. Let's have a look. So if I just do a look, 365, send me an email. Uh, just send that to me. A table. Now this is always in HTML mode, but we can switch over to code view and really just insert this table. So it's a new line and then that, but you can do it just in here anyway. So a table. Do that. Now, because we're adding a new connection, we cannot run with previous. We need to start a new one. So start a new trigger action. 
and first time you're gonna see it's authenticating this connection so this is one extra step which is fine and then we can run that now and that's gonna very quickly send me an email with that table I just want to quickly show so it sends through the email with two links okay but the links are text now generally when we want to encode the HTML it's because we then want to uh, somehow say uh, make this a hyperlink and um, there are no easier way to do it you could try to use custom columns I don't prefer that way I prefer using a select but even with select I don't believe you can do it easily let's have it, give it a go so I prefer using select and let's call that URL and here it's gonna be basically item URL it's the URL field Ignore that. Okay, so URL. Um, and some people say, oh, okay, you can encode in here. Let's maybe do um, cat uh, incur href. And we can't use a single quote because we're already using a single quote there. So do a double quote. Okay. okay, so the concat of this, um, fix that up a little bit. It's a comma and then a single quote. Let's copy that into my clipboard just in case. Nope. So the old expression editor still quite buggy which is why I like to copy the expression into uh, notepad and that looks good so it's gonna do a href with a URL uh, let's see if that does what we want let's pop that in here saving so let's pop that in here and then let's just do the output of this like Okay, very good. And I can use that previous one. The encoding makes it that, uh, you know, this encoding is coming all the way through to the HTML. And unfortunately, if you see in here, you see that the text rather than keeping the the anchor link as HTML, it's, it all got encoded into a plain text. And that's something that the create HTML table does. Okay, so we have this select, just giving us this, but unfortunately it's not doing very well. So rather than relying on the HTML table, we're just gonna go with the select, okay? So rather than using the HTML table, we do this. We can do select again. And select is really just mapping at each element of an array. So we're still going to use the same output from above, which has a URL. Um, in here, we're not going to use this uh, double map syntax. We're going to just type it out. OK, so for each row, we want a TR. We want a TR. And we want a TD for the the um, the cell so t the row and then the data cell the TD and then in here really what we want is the output of this URL so what we really wanted is something that's kind of like this um, lowercase pretty much like that pretty much that like that okay and then uh finally when we want to combine the table together so here instead of say that we can just do you know table like so 
and then just insert the rows into here. Uh, no, a little bit more, sorry. So let's do let's do join. the output and we should just join with a new line character so a um, couple of different ways to do a new line but the one I like to do is the code URI component and percentage 0a for the new line new line is slash n slash n is ASCII code 10 so decode 10 which is a Will give you um, the ASCII code. That's how I remember that number. Um, I don't know all the ASCII codes in my head. So let's do that. So we are basically skipping over the create HTML table. We use the same array to create this. Yeah, and then we want to change this to basically use the compose to output, which is this one. Okay, and then we're gonna run this, run it again, and you'll see that the email it just has the links. Okay, now um, in the new table, I didn't actually do a table header th, so you may want to do that, um, or you may want to have additional columns. But that's pretty much the trick. Now, one little tiny note is if you leave this flow. And then come back. The uh, expression that does sometimes may fight you over here. See how it says no, this is not a fellow JSON anymore. When it does this, uh, what you can do is you could just copy. So easier fix is you just put the double quotes around it again to make it happy. But uh, if it annoys you too much, you may consider pulling it out to a Um, so the expression looks like this. You may consider, okay, let me just do this in concat. So delete this bit. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's this. Okay, so three bits of string. And then put concat around. Okay. Um, just a bit. Now, flow expressions can be multi-line, so there's no problem here. In fact, just delete the slot. Um, just paste that in. So you see the new line is like that. And that was saved correctly. And because it's a full expression, then when you return on the editor, it's not going to screw around with this. Okay, but it's a little bit harder to read. I like the other format best, better. Um, hopefully, when all these uh, expression editors switch to the new experimental one, then we don't have to do the silly hack anymore. Okay, so let's run that one more time and end on that. That's the newest email. Okay, with the hyperlinks. All right, uh, like and subscribe my channel. This is how to do encode. Uh, hyperlinks using select rather than use create HTML. You do need to know a little bit more about the HTML code, but it's very, uh, it will give you more flexibility in how this code is converted. Bye.